Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna check out React Zutstan. So the, it is this npm library that we have. So what is it? Is it is just a simple state management solution for React, and it makes handling global state really easy. So it, I'm just going to jump right into it. And Zutstan is heavily based on React hooks. So you'll see how easy it is to have a global state. Step number one. So this can be done in two steps. Step number one, I'm going to create the store. Step number two, I'm just going to import the store. That's it. Really easy to use. So I'm, I'm just going to make this simple counter. This is just based on the example that he has given here. It's going to be super simple. I have a short video on this. So I'm just going to call this store. Right, so here I'm going to import create from Zstand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this use state. Now this you can name this anything you want to, but this is basically the state that I'm exporting so that I can import it anywhere I want in our app component tree. So I'm just going to call this create and this create will give me this set. Right. So here you can have anything you want. You can have data or you can have functions that manipulate the data. So I'm just going to have two things. I'm going to have the count and I'm going to have a function that increases the count. So I have count. I'm going to give it an initial value of zero. And then I'm going to have a function called increase. This is a function and this is how we increase the count, right? So I'm going to use the set that is given by the create and this thing returns the state, the previous state. So now count will be state dot count is previous count plus one. That's it. Our store is done. Now step number one is done. We're going to move to step number two that is importing the state in our app. So here I'm going to import this new state, new store from our store that we just created now. And then I'm going to get the data in the store, which is how my count. And then I have the increase. R E A S E, yes. And I'm just going to call the use store. And that's it, guys. We just got our state from a store and we can just use them like this. So I'm just I'm going to have count this count and I'm going to have a button that increases the count. Call this INC and on click, I'm going to call the increased function that we got from this store right here. Use store is not a function. Why is that? Oh, because I named this as use state. Okay, so now if I increase, the count increases. And no matter what component I have in this, so I can have a component inside AppleJS, I can have any component over here, and I can just import my state like this anywhere I want to in this app. So this is basically a global state that I can access anywhere I want in this application. No matter how deep the component is in the tree, I can access it. So this is how easy it is to have a global state using uh, set stand and uh, Super simple, really fast to use, and really easy to implement. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.